Hello, I'm Andy Singh and I'm going to predict for you the month of November for those in Capricorn. The 1st of November starts to become a difficult day for you. Don't show arrogance, don't be stubborn and you'll find that your level of confidence will be very low on one side and then on the other side you want to show off and be arrogant. So it's a recipe for problems on Tuesday the 1st of November. The evening session becomes worse and it shows that when you are socializing there can be a lot of disruption which means unhappiness. So the daytime it shows that if you want to be the center of attraction it will be your undoing and being arrogant will show that teamwork disappears and then the evening session shows that if you are socializing you are not a very happy person so you might as well lie low on Tuesday the 1st of November. Wednesday the 2nd of November becomes a very difficult day for you. Unexpected problems crop up very quickly whether in your personal areas that means in your romance, love or marriage areas, whether in your career or business areas. It can attack you anywhere so you got to be very careful. Moodiness will be seen at a very high rate and also changeability, meaning that you want to change your mind very often because you become very unsure about things on the 2nd of November. Whatever it is, success is not seen, so be very cautious. Now, there are planets that are emerging slowly throughout the day that want to help you. And as the day moves on, some relief comes unexpectedly. But I would say, on the whole, remain cautious as to whatever happens. This relief that comes unexpectedly is seen also during the evening. So you may find somebody that you like very much whom you have met, but watch out that underlying will be disappointment all the time. So don't give your heart away too quickly, for example, on the 2nd of November. The 3rd of November is another very difficult day for you. It produces opposition if you are stubborn. It produces a lack of support for you. It produces problems on a big scale. And you will find that you can be pushed around very easily or can be bullied. So mix with people who are more friendly. Avoid people who tend to be uh, disagreeable with you. There are also planets here that bring your communication levels good to a good level. And they bring marketing skills to a good level. But overall, because of this negative cluster of planets, you will find that however well you do, somehow, rather than being praised, you will find blame. Rather than be feeling successful, you will find that perhaps uh, whatever you did is not being well received by others. So it is another negative day. In the evening session, the, the better planets are seen there. So by all means, socialize on Thursday the 3rd November after 7 p.m. and you will find that the day improves with your communication levels becoming better. But opportunities may come for you while socializing. Uh, these opportunities may include meeting a person you like very much. I would still tell myself, if I were you, that since it's the 3rd of November, I'm not going to give my heart away. I'm going to play a wait and see as to what this person is really like. The 4th of November becomes an extremely good day. Morning, noon and night, positive planets are seen. You will do very well in your career. You will do very well in business. Contracts and contacts are extremely positive coming to you. Socializing, you will do very well as well. You will meet people who are very helpful and who are, being, who are successful themselves. And you'll be very happy to be with them and you'll find that they are supporting you in whatever you want to do. So morning, noon and night, the 4th of November, be active. Call people to make plans to be with them. Discuss your ideas with your superiors and you will see you can do very well. Saturday, the 5th of November. Um, business planets are doing very well, personal planets not doing very well. So on the business side, you can push your plans through. Uh, you can uh, uh, move along expecting support. But tell yourself that these negative planets can also creep into your business area. And what they can do is produce disappointments or suddenly you will lose support or you will feel played out. So make sure you have support before you make a move to do anything in career or business areas. 
during the evening session, you can meet people who are very helpful to you in career or business areas too. But there are some warnings about your evening session, which says that, for example, don't drink too much, otherwise accidents are possible. Avoid dark areas. Uh, watch out for disappointments that can come anytime. So, evening session, watch out for these negative things. Sunday, the 6th of November, is an extremely lucky day for you. Bonding with family members, extremely good. You become very lucky in anything you try to do. Long-term planners, good. Short-term planners, good. Money can come in. So see how you can plan uh, with your family members of how to enjoy your Sunday, the 6th of November, which produces plenty of support for you. Monday, the... Um, I'm, I'm sorry, I was talking on Monday, the 7th of November, was I? All right. Let me talk on Monday, the 7th of November again. Monday, the 7th of November produces um, a lot of difficulties, a lot of obstacles, but they're also seen some of your best planets. So while Sunday, the 6th of November, everything you do, you could have done it very well with support. Monday, the 7th shows that you can lose support, you can feel played out, and you can feel very let down. But some of your best planners are also seen, so they provide opportunities. But these opportunities that they provide can also turn wrong or can bring disappointments. So you have to be very careful. There is also a danger of these planets making you addictive to things. So watch out that you don't drink too much, otherwise accidents are possible. And watch out that you don't mix with the company who has bad habits. Now, evening session, there are more positive planets. So evening session seems to be a time where you can do very well. You can meet people who bring good luck to you, for example. Tuesday, the 8th of November. Uh, it's a very good day for you, extremely good day. Two of your important planets are seen there. They bring stability, they bring opportunities, they make you very lucky in financial areas, they bring a lot of support. Now having said that, there's also a couple of planets that want, want you to be acting too independently because they are ego planets and they want to, to to make you look for the limelight and to win the praise yourself. Don't do that. I'd rather be, you be part of the team and that way you will do even better. But if you happen to want to go alone, you will find that you can still achieve whatever you want to achieve. But without the support of others, it may not be totally what you wanted to achieve. The evening session shows that you can be very oversensitive to criticism. You can feel uh, insults very freely and very quickly. You can be a person who has no teamwork, so others are not getting along with you very well in the evening session. You can change this by doing the opposite. Be a team player, be supportive of the plans of others, and this way you can make the 8th of November day and night a very good day. Wednesday the 9th of November brings the best planets and the worst. Now let's talk of the daytime. They help you bring opportunities in career and business areas. Support is seen in these two areas on a big scale, but they also bring a lot of uh, a couple of planets who actually bring disruption, who make you suddenly become very timid and lose your self-confidence. They also make you suddenly afraid of circumstances of whether you can achieve these things. They also bring you a person who tries to make changes at the wrong time. So don't do these negative things. The positive side says that your planets who provide determination for you are strong. So stick to your plan. That's very important. The night time, the negative planets are seen more than the positive planets. So watch out that when you socialize, negativity is shown, disappointment is shown, let down is shown. Thursday, the 10th of November is not a very good day for you at all. It shows that your ego interferes with cooperation from others, that you want to be a loner and want to do things on your own. Not much will be achieved if you try that. But if you turn to teamwork, a bit, it, things will be a bit better. The daytime and the nighttime, there are also negative planets roaming about. And they basically want you to fail in whatever you attempt to do. So you have to be more careful that mistakes made are not too big for you to correct. You have to be careful that your level of confidence doesn't drop too much. And you have, to be level, you have to be careful that support doesn't disappear when you need it the most. 
So don't be stubborn, don't be arrogant, and you'll be able to make Thursday the 10th a much better day for yourself. Friday the 11th, also a very negative day. It's negative in the sense that it produces a lack of support, it brings emotional areas to be totally bad, it brings timidity, meaning that you want to give up hope, it brings differences with others where teamwork disappears. There are a couple of good planets also seen here. And these planets bring off and on unexpected support and unexpected good possibilities. But this unexpectedness comes and goes. So overall, I would ask you to be careful on the 11th of November, day or night. But your night time, the, the cluster of positive planets is seen more. So you may have unexpected good luck while socializing in the night time or if you are working late, then you will find that the night time produces good results. When socializing, be prepared for, for meeting some very interesting people. So dress well, behave well, and you may be able to turn what was a nasty day into some good possibilities. Saturday the 12th of November is a very difficult day for you. Stress is seen on one side, difficulties, a lack of support, failure is seen, I have to say that, and also difficulties in getting anything right. Throughout the day and night, these planets will be roaming around. To escape them, try not to be stubborn, number one. Don't show your temper too much. Don't make changes where others are not ready for these changes. These few things try not to do and you'll be able to make Saturday the 12th of November more manageable. There are also good planets seen there in the day and night time, but they are on a secondary role. They bring your good communication to be also brought up, your marketing skills also to get attention. They bring your mentalness to be very sharp and acute, acute as well. So there are good things happening, but the negative planets are taking more control. The evening session shows that your positive planets are beginning to gain more energy. So socialize by all means and you may get some very good news about career business possibilities as well. Sunday the 13th of November is an excellent day for you. Morning, noon and night you do very well. So by all means bonding with family members, with relatives, with friends, socialize as much as you can. You, whatever you say and do will be very well received. Nighttime session also shows extremely good luck and therefore everything is on a happy scale for you. A very good day and night for you on Sunday the 13th of November. Monday the 14th of November, the business planners are doing well, but the personal planners are a bit weak. So let's talk of your business area where I'd like you to project your communicative skills and your marketing skills. I'd like you to be full of confidence and tell yourself that you are prepared to do things and project yourself and project your ideas. On the negative areas, watch out that disappointment can also come in areas of career or business. These secondary negative planets will roam in and out. And when they do, they, they, they bring some disruption, not on a grand scale, but on a smaller scale. Evening session, I worry that you may uh, drink too much or have other uh, habits which are not very good and therefore can meet accidents or can, uh, you can be waylaid. So uh, don't go into dark areas, for example and play safe during the evening session where disappointments can also occur. Tuesday the 15th of November um, is another very good day. It produces plenty of opportunities for you in career or business and uh, if you are doing business you will find that your, your contacts provide a lot of good possibilities for you. If you are in a career job, you will find that you are well received and your marketing skills bring success, your communication skills bring praise. So you are doing very well in all areas of life. In the socializing area, you can also do very well. You can meet people of your past and they make you very happy and are very supportive. And you can also, uh, whatever you have done in the past for people can now bring rewards as well. That's another view I have for the evening session. So socialize and the whole day is a very happy day. Wednesday the 16th of November does not start very well. So watch out that uh, family areas or personal areas can be disruptive very quickly. Disappointments are seen. The career areas are also affected during the day part. And the career areas uh, show that people let you down most unexpectedly. There are also planets here who are very important to you and they move in and out. 
So you can get support and then lose it. You can get a good opportunity and then find that somehow complications are seen. So it's that kind of a day. You try to be careful not to show your temper and try to not to behave secretively. Be open about your plans. This way everybody will know which direction you're moving to. It's very important because some of the planets affecting you badly are of the secretive kind that make you uh, want to keep most of the news to yourself. So be open and you can turn the Wednesday 16th of November to your favor as well. Let's move to Thursday the 17th of November, an extremely good day. You will be on top of the world. You will be very well supported. There is every possibility for you to win awards or to win recognition or definitely to make money or to receive good news. There are also a couple of planets that make your ego be blown up, becoming egocentric, wanting to be noticed all the time, wanting your views to be accepted all the time. Don't do that part of it. Stick to where uh, you support would be better for you and that way success will be seen on a very high scale. The important news about the uh, uh, 17th of uh, November, which is a Thursday, is that long-term opportunities are seen. And these long-term opportunities uh, give you the confidence and give you the possibility of striking something long-term. Okay? Friday the 18th of November, where your best planets and your weakest planets are seen. So you can see that the month of November is, is more uh, often bringing the good and the bad together. Well, Friday the 18th of November, your best and worst planets. The best bring you determination, good opportunities and contacts and progress. The worst make you emotionally very troubled and bringing about uncertainty and wanting to change plans but being unsure of that itself. Try to control the personal side of your life and don't let it interfere with your career or business. Now, these negative planets will also interfere in your career or business and they may suddenly make you timid or unsure of your plans. So, before you make a move, you have to be very sure. Otherwise, don't make a move.